So how are electric currents similar to how we move water? Well, imagine that number three here, this is your home. And number two is your water tower that's in your city. So you might recognize this being your water tower and maybe not like this kind of flying saucer shape, but you get the idea. This is your water tower. So first off, there's this pump that's underneath the water tower that will pump the water up to the water tower where the water just sits there and it's actually stored as potential energy. So even though it's not moving, it's got the potential to move. It's stored energy. Kind of similar to what's in the battery. The battery has potential energy. So let's say you flush the toilet or you, you know, use the faucet in the sink. You have the potential energy from the water tower that will then move the water to your home where you can use the sink or use the toilet. And that's not all, right? So this process actually continues, and it's not really shown here in this diagram, so we'll draw it in. But what happens after you use this water? Well, it actually gets cleaned. We'll have to go right underneath. It gets cleaned, and then it goes right back to this pump. So this is a closed circuit. It will just keep revolving as long as the water can be cleaned, pumped up through the water tower, and used in your house. If there was a break in a pipe or something was wrong so that a section of this circuit was open, it wouldn't work. Similar to an electric current. So in a closed circuit that everything is working properly, it just keeps going around and around and around. But if anything is open, then there's not going to be electricity produced.